Why is MIT making robot insects? Imagine a world where tiny, flying machines can navigate through rubble, explore hazardous environments, or even assist in medical procedures, all without human intervention. These robotic insects, small enough to fit in the palm of your hand, are more than just an engineering experiment. They represent a glimpse into the future of technology, where artificial creatures could work alongside us, solving problems that traditional robots or even humans can't. At first glance, they seem like something pulled straight from the pages of a science fiction novel, mechanical creatures that mimic the movements of real insects, flapping their wings with precision, crawling into the smallest cracks, and even responding to their surroundings. But at MIT, these robotic insects are very real, and they hold the potential to revolutionize industries ranging from search and rescue to surveillance, environmental monitoring, and even space exploration. The key to their innovation lies in their size. Unlike larger drones or ground-based robots, these micro-machines can maneuver through tight spaces, operate discreetly, and function efficiently with minimal power. Nature has already perfected small-scale mobility, so MIT's researchers are borrowing ideas from the insect world, studying how flies zip through the air with unmatched agility, how ants navigate complex terrain, and how bees work collectively in highly coordinated swarms. By shrinking robotics down to insect size, scientists are unlocking entirely new possibilities. These machines could enter collapsed buildings to locate survivors, monitor fragile ecosystems without disturbing wildlife, or even explore extraterrestrial landscapes where conventional robots would struggle to operate. The future isn't just about making robots smarter, it's about making them smaller, more adaptive, and more capable of seamlessly interacting with the world around them. So, why is MIT making robot insects? How do they work? And what could they mean for the future of technology? The answers to these questions could change the way we think about robotics forever. Imagine a world where tiny machines, no bigger than a fingernail, can navigate through disaster zones, assist in delicate surgeries, or even explore distant planets. That's the vision behind MIT's robotic insects, machines so small and precise that they can reach places and accomplish tasks that traditional robots, or even humans, never could. The core idea is simple but groundbreaking. By designing robots that mimic the efficiency and agility of real insects, researchers are unlocking a new era of mobility. These micro-machines can fly through narrow gaps, crawl into unreachable spaces, and operate with extreme precision, all while consuming minimal energy. But making this vision a reality is anything but easy. Miniaturization is one of the greatest engineering challenges of our time. As robots get smaller, every component, from power sources to movement mechanisms, must be redesigned to function efficiently at a microscopic scale. Traditional motors are too bulky and inefficient, so MIT's engineers had to think outside the box. Instead of gears and pistons, these robotic insects rely on advanced artificial muscles known as dielectric elastomer actuators. These flexible materials expand and contract rapidly when exposed to an electric current, allowing the robots to flap their wings just like real insects. Machines that are incredibly lightweight, incredibly fast, and incredibly agile. But movement is just the beginning. To make these robots practical for real-world applications, researchers are working on integrating smarter navigation, autonomous decision-making, and even the ability to communicate with each other in swarms. The potential is limitless, and as the technology advances, these tiny robots could reshape industries, redefine exploration, and even change the way we interact with the world around us. Powering these tiny machines is one of the biggest challenges researchers face. Unlike larger robots, which can carry substantial batteries, these insect-sized machines must remain incredibly lightweight. A traditional battery would be far too heavy, limiting their flight time and mobility. To overcome this, MIT is pioneering alternative power solutions, such as wireless energy transfer, where electricity is sent remotely to the robot, flexible micro-batteries that fit within their delicate frames, and even bio-hybrid power systems that harvest energy from the environment itself. Imagine a robotic insect that could draw power from sunlight, vibrations, or even chemical reactions in the air, eliminating the need for bulky, onboard batteries altogether. But power is only part of the equation. To be truly effective, these robots need intelligence. 
They must be able to navigate unpredictable environments, avoid obstacles, and operate autonomously without human intervention. MIT is developing ultra-lightweight sensors, microscopic cameras, and AI-driven algorithms to give these machines the ability to see and understand the world around them. Some models are designed to mimic the way insects process visual information, reacting to movement in real time and making split-second decisions to avoid crashes. Others are being programmed to work in swarms, communicating with each other like bees in a hive, efficiently covering vast areas with minimal energy use. While the technology itself is groundbreaking, the real question is, what will these robots be used for? The possibilities stretch across multiple industries, each with its own game-changing implications. One of the most crucial applications is search and rescue. Imagine an earthquake-stricken city, where collapsed buildings make it impossible for human rescuers to reach survivors trapped beneath the rubble. These robotic insects could fly into the smallest gaps, detect body heat, pick up faint sounds, and relay precise location data to emergency responders, saving lives in situations where every second counts. Beyond disaster zones, environmental monitoring is another major use case. These robots could act as tiny, autonomous scientists, tracking pollution levels in hard-to-reach areas, collecting air and water quality data, or even monitoring endangered species without disturbing their natural habitat. They could detect methane leaks before they become hazardous, track illegal deforestation, or help scientists study climate change with unmatched precision. And what if these robots could replace an essential species currently in decline? With bee populations struggling due to habitat loss, pesticides, and climate change, MIT researchers are exploring whether robotic insects could act as artificial pollinators. These micro-machines could mimic the behavior of bees, transferring pollen between plants and ensuring that crops continue to thrive. If successful, this technology could safeguard global food supplies and prevent agricultural collapse. The potential of these tiny robots is limitless, and as research progresses, they could reshape everything from disaster response to conservation efforts. The question isn't just what they can do, it's how soon they'll be ready to change the world. In the military and surveillance sector, these robots could be used for reconnaissance. A tiny flying machine equipped with a camera and microphone could gather intelligence in dangerous areas without being detected. And then there's space exploration. NASA and MIT are researching how micro-robots could be used to explore planets. Traditional rovers are bulky and slow, but robotic insects could cover more ground, enter tight crevices, and collect data faster and more efficiently. These robots could even assist astronauts inside space stations by performing maintenance and repair tasks in hard-to-reach areas. But despite their potential, MIT still has major challenges to solve before robotic insects can be widely used. Power limitations remain a key issue. Keeping these robots operational for extended periods without adding too much weight is a difficult balancing act. Durability is another concern. Real insects are surprisingly tough but robotic insects are fragile. Researchers are working on materials that are both lightweight and impact-resistant. Scalability is also a challenge. Right now, producing these robots is expensive and time-consuming. To make them practical for large-scale use, scientists need to find cost-effective ways to mass-produce them. But there's also the issue of autonomy. While these robots can follow simple programmed movements, Making them fully independent and adaptable in unpredictable environments is still a work in progress. Despite these hurdles, MIT is making rapid progress. Every breakthrough brings robotic insects closer to real-world applications, from life-saving missions to exploring the unknown. So, why is MIT making robot insects? Because they have the potential to save lives, revolutionize industries, and explore places we've never been before. The question is, are we ready for a world where tiny, intelligent robots are flying among us? Will they become tools for good, or could they raise new ethical concerns about privacy, security, and control? Let us know your thoughts in the comments. And if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon for more deep dives into cutting-edge technology. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.